morning, morning, everybody. Michelle is here. October the 13th, 2024. On my favorite day, Sunday, Sunday. I had to get up and go run some errands this morning before I take care of some other stuff later today. Looking around the city. Ah, uh, you know. It is what it is, as everyone says. And there's a lot going on in this city. They're, I guess they're doing every, everything they can to handle the infrastructure. And hopefully they're being very honest with themselves that with all this massive, uh, massive amount of people driving, massive amount of uh, population, it's just going to be like putting on a Band-Aid. But I can appreciate it the efforts and that's all that's 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 the best you can do is just put in the efforts don't be an idiot behaving leader you know whether you're in politics business uh, don't be it don't act as though you, you cannot see what's happening that's the point I'm attempting to make especially to some of those uh, these so-called they call them they call themselves politicians okay that's what you want to call yourself you know being being delusional and hallucinating about the state of this this planet and that there is no problem with the infrastructure you know and now a lot of people are feeling the effects of it realizing yes there there is major problems with the infrastructure but you can't it doesn't matter how many bills you pass how many laws you pass how many things you banned how many things you you know you 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 attempt to structure with a pen it's not going to matter unless we take a look at the big picture and the big picture is the amount of population that we have uh <clears throat> you know on on top of these infrastructures so what's going to happen over the course of time as i said before there's going to be a great exodus Meaning people are going to be moving back and forth here, there, and everywhere thinking they're going to escape stuff. You know, I saw somewhere where some people had uh, were in other states and they experienced severe, extreme, catastrophic damage from, you know, so-called Mother Nature. And they believe, it's a belief, that if they move to another place, they will not experience the same things. And then they have. And so, so... What is it going to take? You know, there's no issue with moving. You can move anywhere you want. But there's still effects. You know, cause and effect is still relevant and will stay relevant forever. It's about the energy of your thoughts. So, so many people believe that, okay, they're going to just up and move. You know, that same kind of, you know, running away from problems is what it is to me. You're running away from problems. You know, so let me just let us all just up and leave and move on. And that's what happened, you know, back in the day, back in the, I would say the 50s and 60s, 50s and 60s, when, when cultures were invaded and you had these so-called politicians, leaders, entertainers, by the way, were there as well, especially those in the religious field, you know, coming into certain cultures, invading them, telling them that they have a problem. And that they ought to dismantle their cultures, you know, by having it eroded of, of, of essentials and then go and invade other other cultures and blah, blah, you know, in, in other words, constant interference. But so many people believe that if they just run away from a problem, that it, a problem will go away. No, that's um, that's not logical. And, you know, some of you are just going to run yourself off the cliff because you keep trying to run away from things and try to be in the best neighborhoods and have the best schools and have all these great high tech, you know, uh, services and believe that you deserve it. You know, my point is handle your problems, take care of problems in your own backyard, you know, everything belongs to everybody yes but if you're going to be running around thinking okay let me just move here and move there without consciously thinking about okay why am i moving 
and not realizing that you can go anywhere in the world and you're still going to experience cultural um, a correction um, climate destruction we're on one planet so uh, so again I'm going to keep repeating certain things because you know it's obviously not be, not clear and effective for some people and it's been like that for decades actually it's been like that for thousands of years actually and so so my point is in the future a, a, a large majority of you are only going to have yourself to blame you can't blame uh, descend, your descendants you can't blame you know uh, you can't blame women you can't blame men you can't blame black people you can't blame Latino people Asians, you can't blame anyone. All of us are in this together. We've all caused all of this to happen. And so now some of you think you're clever and think you're sophisticated in thinking, believing that, you know, if I just move from here to there, you know, and, and everywhere, you know, I don't have to face uh, the reality of the situation. Well, the reality of the situation is it's happening everywhere. So where are you going to go? And even if you go to the moon and Mars, it's catastrophes and disasters waiting to happen you know why because it's happening in our soul system so until you can get out of the soul system it's gonna be deja vu deja vu no matter if you're on the moon on mars or wherever you plan to go all right i'm gonna send peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains this message is to those that are refusing to take accountability and responsibility for their behaviors and actions and not live in the reality of their situations and for all of you all over the stars and moon and mountain at the end of the day it's still about universal love but sometimes you have to be harsh and in some in people's face before they can wake up and you know and smell the coffee or the espresso or whatever they're you know hoping to smell you know what i mean so take care of yourself take care of each other protect your consciousness all right once i finish with my air i'll probably come back and you know talk again but I do have a, a, a full plate today. So peace and love. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other.